What's up guys, Barry Game here, back with some more Idle Heroes, and today we're going over Adventure of the Brave 2.0, and there is a lot to discuss because there is a decent amount of RNG that goes into it. It's a little confusing about the number of coins you'll have, so hopefully this breakdown, number one, correct, and it helps you guys explain and kind of see where your stuff is going to come from. We have the Celebration Commission Mission Quest and the point total you can get from there, so there's a lot of of stuff to cover here today hopefully you guys enjoy this one let's break this down let's see what you can get completely free to play in this event <laughs> So the first thing we need to talk about is this Celeration Commission. Because I did the same mistake last year. I literally recorded this entire video and then I realized I messed up again. Instead of them being down like they usually are normally, let's go like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of what you can get. This time it goes across, which means you're going to get 100 less coins than I originally thought and I had to redo a ton of my calculations but let's go over the quest systems here so up the very top here you'll notice the actual uh entire quest that we're talking about first off is the tavern quest so this is starting five star or above tavern quest you'll get three points for each one of them meaning 16 total will generate you 48 points not coins very specific these are points to then get coins these are not directly coins uh, the next one is using four ordinary dice in Imps Adventure nets you four points for a total of 400. Uh, so instead of like one to one, it's four to four. So just keep that in mind. We'll break it down for the free to play here in a minute. The next one is five points for every 1,000 gems consumed, which I believe um, I'm going to double check this right now just to make sure that gem count is right. So 120 points divided by five points is 24. So yeah, 24,000 gems to get the 120 points. And then there's also 10 soul awakenings here uh, that nets you six points each for a total of 60, meaning 628 is the grand total. This only goes to 480, so it means you don't have to do everything here. So what can free to play get to get these top four right here? Well, they can definitely do the 48 points for the quest. They can do about 20 points worth of imps adventure dice. Normally you get 78 completely free to play if you're doing your gem purchases on dice as well you'll hit the regular dice hut a couple times so hitting 80 imps dice shouldn't be too hard for 20 points uh consuming 24,000 gems should be super easy even for brand new free to play players for the 120 points and then if you want to do soul awakenings that is another 60 so what is that going to get you that's going to get you 200 of these coins you go two we got 50 50 50 50 you're going to be able to get all of these that's going to net you 200 coins and then of course there is the joyful quiz as well which can generate you an additional 120 for 320 total and then it gets a little bit tricky when we talk about rng in the next event now one thing to just talk about briefly if you don't want to do these 60 or these 10 soul awakenings for 60 points that does mean you're only going to have 150 50 coins which means you're only gonna have 270 ish that might be enough as i'm gonna say wait till thursday to do this event free to play do not jump the gun because you want to see what imps adventure dice gets you and then you want to see what type of tavern quest you can get you might not have to do a single soul awakening in this event but let's talk about the adventure of the brave next this is the big one here that is going to be important. So in order to pass some of these stages, you simply have to pay coins. Uh, other ones have health bars you have to attack. When you are attacking bosses that have health bars, that's where it gets a little tricky. It costs four adventure coins for every single attack, and each attack will do a random amount of damage, three, four, or five damage. So that's why you're going to see in our breakdown here, some uh, some some kind of questionable things. So number one, it just costs 40 coins to get through stage one nice and easy. Stage two, you are going to purchase four coins per purchase. You have to purchase five times minimum to move on to stage three. However, you are going to want to spend coins until you get this meat. At the very worst RNG, you get it very last. That means you spent 40 coins here instead of 20, but you're getting a ton of resources as well. What that also means is when you bump down to this next one, instead of fighting the health bar, you just spend 20 coins and the meat. 
So that's actually not too bad because that means 20 coins is going to be generated here. Whereas if you go through and you battle, you could get it done for as low as 32 coins. It might take as many as 56. So it is much better hunting the meat this time. This one, this meat is worth quite a bit on top of the additional resources. So if you go 40 coins here as the worst RNG, that means here you're only going to go 20, which means that is 60 for both. It's really RNG based, but yeah, you can kind of break down. If you go 40 here, uh, I guess I should do this then. I just realized my mistake. If you go 20 here, that means you're spending, I guess it could be. No, you know, we'll leave the total like this because you might get lucky and you might hit the meat literally the fastest possible we'll just leave it at that uh but this one here if you do get the meat and everything you pass through it stage four is another boss battle this one you just have to straight up fight the first time i believe i don't think you can spend the 40 i think you have to go through setting one and battle it the first time around which means right here is the rng it's going to take eight to 14 attacks depending on rng it's only going to take eight attacks if you hit five damage every single time it's going to take 14 attacks if you hit three damage every single time it's going to happen somewhere between 32 and 56 coins moving down this list now moving down here stage five is just a purchase you just buy it you're good to go stage six is another battle so again it's going to take 32 to 56 coins depending on rng and finally stage seven is the good one it's literally a 40 coin purchase which is absolutely amazing because you're getting an artifact chest you're getting some uh, treasure you're getting some uh swap tickets which we'll talk about in a separate video here a little bit later and you're getting a sublimation or core of origin chest really really good now if your rng is god tier you're only going to take 224 which is not too bad uh and you're gonna get a total of 320 now if your rng literally lines up the worst uh actually if it lines up the worst case that would be you're purchasing 40 here for 20 uh i think my math was a little off on that actually let's do this math one more time on this part here so you're gonna do 40 coins Worst RNG is stage two, you do 40 coins, which means the next one's only 20, then 56, then 40, then 56, then 40. Yeah, 292 is actually the worst RNG because the worst RNG is having to go 40 here. It's not going 56 here. You can't do 40 and 56. If you're doing 40, it's 20. If you're doing 20, it's 56. So this is the better RNG to do right here. 292 which means you are easily accomplishing this which means you can probably do a few less things if you only get 150 point coins from this by not doing this uh, 150 is 270 like i said 270 is if you don't do this right here you get 270 total adventure coins technically it's possible so this is definitely a wait for thursday event because the only other way to get coins is value packages so Keep an eye out. Uh, you might actually get through this loop a little bit extra. There's really no way to do multiple loops, but luckily they made this loot really, really good for one. So you're getting an artifact, you're getting a chest, you're getting swap tickets, and you're getting a treasure completely free to play. And it's very easily done free to play as well. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. Let me know what you guys think about this event. We'll try to break down a little bit more information for you guys on the swap event here later this morning. See you guys next time.